Hi everybody, this is Joe Holly from Maxport Indonesia and today we're going to introduce an exciting new overland product which was made right here in Indonesia. Maxfort is a product that was founded by Banteng Mas in 2022. Now Maxfort has just been launched in 2022 but Banteng Mas has been experienced in the field of overlanding and customizing vehicles for already 15 years. So we feel like we're ready now to create our own product based on what we've seen from the different industry leaders. Obviously, we've taken that and put our own touches on it. We feel that because this is so easily customizable, it's something that is fit for the markets of Indonesia, Australia, and of course the US. We feel like this is something that has a very big potential for sales in the years to come, something that people will definitely enjoy. In February 2023, we released the Maxport Mark II. Now this is it right here. Before we get into all of the details, let's talk a bit about the construction. The, every Maxport is made with 5052 high-grade aluminum, which is both laser cut and laser welded for maximum durability. The laser welding also prevents corrosion. So this is something that you can expect to last for a long time through whatever you put at it. So each Maxfort is equipped with two side boxes, as well as a rear tray. Now all of the locks on these boxes here are centrally armed, so that each time that you lock the car, each one of these side boxes will be locked as well. So one of the things that you'll notice about each of these storage compartments is that we have a system in place that is completely dust proof and rain proof. So this is exactly the same type of system as you'd find on any car door where we have a rubber enclosure here that will keep all of your equipment and gear inside here dry and free from dust. So anytime you go on a big trip, we know that storage is going to be very important. So we have these handy drawers that come out quite deep, plenty of space for all of your equipment as well as this latch here, which is very easy to operate with just one hand. So you don't have to bother putting things down before you try to put them away. Uh, we've got things like camping chairs in here, our cooking gear. There's loads of space for everything that you could need in this drawer, as well as in the drawer next to it. If we look down here, this compartment has space for an air compressor. That's optional as well. Uh, internally lit, that way, you can always access everything that you need, even in the dark. When you're going off-road and you want to air down your tires, you have the ability to do that and then pump it up again with an air compressor that we will be able to install for you right here. Of course, we also have this mole system up here, which allows you to very easily attach any items that you want. We've got things like a walkie-talkie here, uh, multi-tool, headlamps, navigation devices, anything that you want really can be put onto this mole system, which is very convenient and easy to use. We also offer this tray. It comes in both a size medium and a large. Along with this uni track here, you're able to adjust, so you can place this anywhere in the truck that you would like, adjusting it either here, on the side over here, and again, because it has two different sizes, you really have no limit to how you want to configure this truck. So moving forward, we'll talk a little bit about our electrical system. We are using the Red Arc Power System Manager. That comes here with a 200 or 150 amp lithium battery. To charge that, we are gonna go through this converter. We also have a handy little control panel here where you can monitor and activate each individual uh, module of the vehicle so we have an individual route for your fridge that's on the other side which we'll show you in a second we also have things for the outdoor lights if we wanted to push a button here we could turn on and off all of the exterior lights of the vehicle we also have things that charge for your compressor as well as your water pump that goes on the other side of the vehicle as well now when it comes to charging your battery you have a couple of different options available to you you can choose to charge directly from the alternator at the vehicle there at the front or if you wanna choose a more green option, you can charge directly from the solar panels on the roof. When it comes to power management, we use this nifty little panel right here. Uh, using this panel, you guys can choose to power on or off any aspect of the vehicle that you would like. So if, for example, you're running low on power, but you wanna keep your fridge running while turning off all of the lights, you can do that from the panel right here. It also has uh, all of your monitoring. So it'll show you how, how full your batteries are, how much of a charge you have left, how much draw you're getting from your solar panels. It'll also show you the level of the water that's in your water tank. Speaking of which, we have our water fill right here, which goes to a 30 liter stainless steel internally baffled water tank. 
Now those baffles are in place so that even when you're taking this on off-road conditions, that water is not going to be sloshing around all over the place. Directly below that, you have your pressurized fill. And we'll show you on the other side of the truck where the water filter is and the water uh, compressor. Below that, we have gravity fill as well. So if you want to just get a trickle of water out, you can do that by turning on this right here. So that's it for this side of the truck. Let's move around to the back. All right, guys, so coming around to the back side of the vehicle, the main things you'll see here, of course, there's spare tire. You've got a little bit of extra water storage, but the main thing is going to be this rear tray. So this pulls out and creates a very convenient workspace. Uh, on this configuration of the truck, this is where we do most of our cooking and most of our prep work for meals. Underneath, of course, you do have some storage some nice gas struts so you can lift this up, get it out of the way. All of our tools are stored in here, so anything that you need to repair the vehicle will be put underneath the truck on this side. So down here we have a tow bar, and this has a 350 ball capacity, which means you could put a bicycle rack out here or even put on a motorcycle rack if you wanted, and it has a towing capacity of 3,500 kilos. So you can put out a boat, whatever it is that you want to take on your next holiday adventure. All right, well, that's it for the back. Let's move around to the other side. On this side of the camper, we have the fridge in the pantry area. Uh, there are a number of different configurations for you to choose from, but the way that we have this one set up is with the fridge on a sliding roller here. We also have an automatic switch that will allow you to lower the fridge completely independently. Now, you have different options to choose from. If you wanted to, instead, you could have a full fridge on this side, and you could have a kitchen that comes out and down over on this side, but there are uh, some drawbacks to that where you would lose out on the bottle system that we have in place over here. So this is a fridge and you can combine this with any temperature that you would like. This would give you enough food to last for about five days to 12 days, depending on how you pack and what type of food you eat. So when it comes to your fridge drop down, you actually have two options. There's a automatic version like you see here that's completely electrical powered. You also have a manual version which would allow you to lower this without the use of electricity. So keeping on the theme of plenty of storage, we have right behind the fridge, a couple of different compartments for you to store your goods. We have that same mole system here where you can put anything that you need to. And of course, we have another tray at the top there that you can fill with anything that you need. What well, makes this kitchen quite convenient is that you have another retractable drawer where you can store all of your spices. Behind here you have your dry goods pantry and uh, anything that you need, rice, pasta, dry goods can be stored in containers behind here. So right next to our spice rack, we then have a nice little sliding table here. And along with that, this whole piece comes out. So again, plenty of room for you to store anything that you need, any of your prep tools, your cooking stove, all of that. And as we talked about earlier, generally we'll do our prep here and do the cooking out back. So the last few things to talk about in this kitchen are of course our DC oven. So this is direct current, which means that the amps that it uses only 10, quite low, allows you to heat up things like your pastries in the morning, or if you wanna have something that's cooked in the oven, you can do that as well with a little bit of preheat time. Now, if we move down here, this final compartment, this holds not only our dishwashing equipment, but also our water compressor and filter. So all of the water that we use in this tank here is already potable drinking water, but we do have this additional filter in place so that the water that comes out of any of these pressurized ports is going to be completely clean and able to be used for not only washing dishes, but for drinking as well if you wanted to. So that's it for the camper. Let's take you around the truck and show you what are the other things that we've done to kind of spruce it up a little bit.
Okay, so this is a 2022 Toyota Hilux. And here on the front, we've got ourselves a jungle bull bar. What makes this special, what stands out about this really, is the three inch pipe that we've got at the top. And it gives it that real aggressive look that we're going for. And here at the front, we've got our 215 or nine inch LED lights. And we also have a daytime running strip here at the bottom, which gives it a very impressive cast in the front. We've also got our LED lights. We've got a winch here by TGM. And below that, we've got some under vehicle protection also by Jungle. Let's move around to the side. So this truck is running a two inch lift and pretty wide tires. So because of that, we've had to change the upper control arms. Now beyond that, we're also running an adjustable XGS suspension system. Uh, what's special about these wheels is that we're using the Method 705 wheels. Uh, this is a one that maybe you would have seen at the SEMA show last year. Something interesting about that is that they're also made in Indonesia. So this is the big point of pride for us as well. So right behind us, we have the jungle side steps. So when it comes to the top of the vehicle, there's a lot of customization that you can do. What we've got here is a shower tent. We've also got an awning that goes three fourths around the entire vehicle. And you can also choose any camper that you want. Any brand of camper is going to fit with this construction. One thing to note here is we've got the Yakima roof rack. What's special about this is that it has a system that is different to your traditional roof racks, where instead of having two beams that go across, you have this one rigid line system that they call that runs across the entire length of the vehicle. And that means that you can take your capacity from 75 kilos of weight to 100 kilos of weight. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me on this tour of the Maxport Mark II. If you want to find any more information about this or other vehicles, stay tuned at Maxport 4x4 on both YouTube and Instagram. Or for sales, you can find us at Bantengmas on Instagram. See you.